Well, the FedEx man just arrived and I just got a big package of goodness in. Um, this is an order of uh, enclosures from Stamps Tarantulas a few weeks ago. I think it was three weeks ago. He had in his newsletter that he was going to be getting in and, and carrying now the European style enclosures that many tea hobbyists use over in Europe. These are the ones that uh, I've seen in uh, the Spider-Man uh, on YouTube's videos. I've always admired them. And as a matter of fact, when I used to watch his videos, a while ago, I saw those enclosures and tried to find them around here and found out that apparently they don't have them in the States. So I was really disappointed because I love the hinge tops, their stackability, they just look so cool. Um, so for years I've been using the Sterilite, but seeing that these were finally listed, I figured it was time to finally get some. Although I will say I kind of sat on the fence for a little bit and then uh, Melissa, the swimming fox, uh, was nice enough to send me some photos that kind of convinced me that uh, I needed to have these things. She's a huge enabler. So um, I ended up picking up some. The small size go for $5, the large size are $6.50, and the tall size are 8 bucks. So a little more expensive than your standard Sterilite, but I will tell you I'm getting sick and tired, of, honestly, of finding Sterilite enclosures that stack well, that I like the sizes that I can use for slings, juveniles, adults, only to have them discontinue them and then come up with another style. So it's it's been like I've had three different styles of these things I've used over the course of the last three years. And the last one that I was using, they just discontinued in my area and I can only find them online. So it'll be nice to kind of standardize, use these things, see how they work. And um, I, I have to say, if they work as well as I hope they're going to, then I'll probably start shifting over to these. Because as I said, Stamps will be um, carrying them on their website. Apparently he's going to be posting them. They haven't put them up yet. So let's get these out. I'll probably do a two-part one where I show the what they look like and everything. And then I will do one afterwards where they're rehoused. So I'll do a rehousing with them. I already opened the box so I get sick of trying to do this one-handed. Well, there's paper all over the floor. Alright, here we go. We got the lids, we got the enclosures. Hopefully there's more. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> so the small size, these are gonna be perfect. I hope for some of my larger slings and juveniles, I have a bunch I have to re- house. Um, you can get them with the holes already in them. They do them for free, but I have no problem going and doing the holes myself. And these are the enclosure covers, which as you can see are hinged, which I find to be just amazing. You just flip open this and toss something in. A lot of times what I do is I will take the covers off and slide them like this so I can throw something in. This I just open up the hinge. So very, very nice. I do. I bought 10 of these because I do have a lot of uh, larger tees I have to get out of the deli cups and this to give them more room. And we've got the large size here. Hopefully that'll come in. And the tall that I can use for fossorial or arboreal. So I'll try these out, see what if I like them. Again, I love trying out all different types of enclosures. Uh, it, it's part of the fun part of the hobby for me to just see if I find something new. So I'm constantly evolving in what I use. So we'll see how these work out. If they work out great, I'll keep using them. If not, I'll probably post something up saying that I'm no longer using them. But so far, they look great, lightweight, so they and stackable, which is another thing. So what I'll do is go ahead now and cut the video here. You'll probably do um, rehousing or at least get one of these ready for rehousing later and show how they go together once they're filled. So again, Stamps Tarantulas, they have them. I believe now you have to email him. I'll put the contact information in the description of this to get them because they're not up on the site yet, but I guess he's selling out, selling these out and then getting another huge shipment in and we'll be carrying them. And I think shipping, the only thing that was a little hefty was the shipping price. They shipped them to FedEx and I think it was 14 bucks. So that obviously does add to the cost, but if these work out well, it'll be well worth it for the convenience. And this is the second part of my video for the um, new enclosures I just pick up from Stamps Tarantulas. These are the ones that are used uh, in European collections. Um, just some impressions on these. Um, I absolutely love the smaller ones. Um, little shallow. That's my only issue is I like putting a lot of substrate in. But uh, compared to the deli cups, I mean, I can put just as much in. But obviously a lot longer. I can fit a piece of cork bark in there. There'll be water dishes in here in a minute. And I absolutely adore these little trap doors that you open up here. Boom, you can go in and do the feeding and stuff, which is great because I'm putting Formictopus in here and these guys tend to chase the prey items right out of it. So I like the fact that I'll be able to open it up and drop them right in. Um, the small, the uh, large, I have to admit, um, I, I'm going to have to, it's going to take some getting used to. And part of it's that the enclosures I've been using 
offer up. My wife's going to kill me when we see the table. All the kids are bringing their back to school or uh, getting out of school and they're bringing all their stuff home. So it's stacked up on the table. But uh, back to this. I like the size as far as the dimensions. I mean, it's a pretty good size, but again, it lacks in depth. And I've gotten into the habit of using deeper enclosures and putting a lot more substrate in. Um, they're also a little bit flimsier than I was expecting. So if you can see here, when I push on the bottom, it kind of creates a little earthquake effect that I'm going to feel bad about when I move these guys. When it's closed, it's a little more solid, I think. But um, yeah, I, I like them. I, I, I'll have to see how they work. I'm about to rehouse some Formictopus species in these as well, some bigger ones. So we'll see how they go. But uh, I don't hate them. I will tell you what I really love about both of them is the stackability is way better than the majority of the enclosures I use, if not all of them. So you can see there I have one of the large ones on the bottom, two of the small ones on top. You can stack them extra tall, and they do because they're basically rectangular in shape, take up a lot less size than some of the um, other enclosures I use. The Sterilite ones sometimes have some funky shapes to them, so you kind of have to play Tetris to line them up on the shelf. So what I'm going to do now is a quick rehousing. I'm going to pass this over to... Rowan, I'm going to put one of them inside and set them up. But overall, I'm guessing I'll be ordering more of the small ones. Uh, jury's still out as far as I'm concerned on the larger ones. I like them. We'll see how it goes. If I end up liking how they work with the um, the spiders I'm going to put in them, then maybe I'll pick up more. Because, you know, for, I just think for the price, a little bit flimsy. I do like the fact that it opens up. I like the stackability. Uh, the depth is the only thing that gives me a little bit of pause. So I'm going to pass this over to Rowan while I move this stuff around. Remember, we're going to try to keep it off the messy table so mom doesn't kill us. Why don't you come over to this side because I think the light will be on it. Go over this way. Alright, I got three of these to do. I think what I'm going to do is just take the whole top off of this. guys grow like weeds so they don't stay in these very long. Oh, there it is. Formictopus species green. Let's see if I can get the cork bark out of here. myself. No, he's not liking that. You get this ready because I got my ability to turn around and charge backwards. He is literally just locking up and not moving. Ron, are you sniffing again? No. Are you sniffing? Am I sniffing? The calcitrin a little blue. There he goes. All right. It literally had to like nudge him the whole way down. Dear gosh. All right. That was. No, let me stole that out. There you go. All right. So I'll grab it from Roan, put the light on. So that's the Formictopus species green. I got these guys' slings are about three quarters of an inch long. Now they're probably pushing about two and a half, two and three quarters. So they've outgrown the other ones. But as you can see, this is really good size for that kind of awkward juvenile stage. I've got to drop a, uh, definitely got to drop a water bowl in it, but there we go. So when I feed them, I can just open this little hatch, drop it right in. So again, glad I made this purchase. I think it was worth it, especially for the smaller ones. I'm going to be doing about a dozen rehousings this weekend because I have some things that are going to go into these. And then um, when I rehouse the Formictivus species I have, they're going to go into this one. That's going to open up cages and I have to rehouse some other species. So it's, it's just going to be a lot of rehousings. 
So again, these uh, goodbye overall. Definitely like the smaller ones. I will probably do a, a uh, an update once I've used the larger ones a little bit and kind of gotten the hang of them. Again, the only thing a little flimsy, but not horrible. And the depth kind of threw me off. But overall, I, I really like these. The clear, I, I just love how clear the tops are. You can see everything. It's not like these guys that were atrocious. You can see the difference there. And I have some other cages that are about the same thing. They're almost opaque. So again, very good buy. Love these things. And uh, I don't have to be jealous of the European keepers anymore. Okay, this is gonna be the second attempt at uh, recording the rehousing of Formictibus species Caudus Violet, I think, right? And so many of these things I forget. Uh, the first one we had to delete because Billy swore and then took a selfie. So, I called Ron out for <laughs> sniffing all the time. I think we should have left it on there. <laughs> More for the swearing. This is PG, remember? Because you never swear. Not on these. All right. This is going to be not so much fun. These guys, the last one was a little jerk. Although I don't blame them, honestly. He's right there. Yeah. I think try to it's coming out, isn't it? Yeah. I should put the cap back on this. Yeah, I've done what was it? This is the fifth Formictibus species today, and they were all kind of nasty. I was just telling somebody that I have a really good time with my Formictibus species and now they're all being brats. Oh, this one just molded. Right, here we go. <clears throat> now this is the large uh, European style enclosures that I picked up from Stamps. I forgot I have to repeat all this because it was on the other video um, that you swore on. Um, I The only issue I have with these, they're a little bit flimsy. I'm just kidding. They're a little bit flimsy and they're a little bit more shallow than what I usually use for species these size. But I, I can pack in enough dirt and we'll see how they go. But this is kind of a test run for them to see how they work and if I'm going to buy more of them. I definitely like the small ones. These, I'm still, the jury's out on them, so we'll see. I did just rehouse another one, though, and it seems to be pretty comfortable, but i just like to give them a little bit more depth. All right. Yeah, I'm going to try to avoid getting hair kicked. There's been a lot of hair flying today. The last one turned around went right at me, so... Oh, there we go. Oh, you, you behaved. No, we didn't, didn't behave. behave. At all. All right, it's not going to get you, then. We were talking about some closure. <laughs> you were asking if they're quick? <laughs> they're quick. Were you just asking if they're quick? Oh, they're it's slow. It's, 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 I know where it is. It's fine. If the worst case scenario, it gets out, it's in here. That's what we do inside the top. I plan for them to get out. We've just been very, very lucky that they don't normally get out. All right, so let me see if I can sort of eat. Oh, I want the window the other way. All right, I can get cocky and try to turn this around. Now nah, we'll just put it on as is. I want the window over the water thing, or the door. I right, get down, you little turd. No, no. No, I get a little feet in there. Come on. Come on. Wow, we're uh, five for five today with these things being a little punked. I was literally just talking to somebody on Facebook and saying, yeah, mine are really well behaved. And this is the most, the most difficult time any of them have ever given me with three housings. Actually, the other ones didn't go too, too badly. All right. So, yeah, the one thing I do like about these is the little lift up thing, which will be great because these guys tend to come right out of their enclosures going at prey. Um, I wish I could get the window on the other way, but it's good for now. All right, so for Mictopus. Um, Caudus violet. These guys are supposedly are supposed to turn violet when they get older. They're not there yet, but they are showing some interesting colorations. And I keep them like most of my guys. I start off with a damp substrate, let it dry out in between. They don't. They seem to do well in 
uh, damp or dry. Always have a water dish and a hide. This one's not going to be able to do quite as much burrowing. They will burrow as swings. Not quite as much room in here for burrowing, but it does get some room for digging. But I don't know. I kind of I, I do like the size for like the bigger juveniles. It's kind of nice. It's just kind of shallow for what I'm usually used to. All right, so we're going to go ahead and stop this one, and I'm just going to put the top on. But that went fairly well. Scared you a little bit. I can't wait to watch this one back. No. Permictivus caudus violet.